course, commercialize the intelligence operations they do in the military and commercialize it into the business world. So one of the areas that you may not know that you're gonna learn about today is biometrics. And our crowd is proud to have invested now in the three times in a company called Biocat. And today they're going to demonstrate their secret biometric tricks that they've developed to, catch, to protect consumers and to catch the bad guys. So I'd like to welcome up to the stage Francis Zelazny and Daniel Shigetti from uh, Biocatch to tell us more about what they do and to demonstrate how it works. Good afternoon, everyone. We are so excited to be here. Biocatch is a cybersecurity company that delivers behavioral biometrics. How many of you have heard of behavioral biometrics? So for those of you who have, and those of you who have not, let's try a little exercise right now. Everybody cross your arms. Now try to do it the other way. Seems simple, right? But not so, because that's who you are, and that's what Biocatch does. Biocatch analyzes the way people interact with online applications and devices to distinguish between you and other people and you and other things. Things like malware, robotic activity, social engineering, and remote access attacks. Things that are eroding the trust that we have in our online interactions today. Since 2013, more than nine billion records have been stolen, making it difficult to tell the difference between a legitimate person and somebody who's using stolen or synthetic identity. Biocatch looks at the way you type, the way you scroll, the way you toggle between fields. And we were founded more than five years ago, and today we monitor more than five billion transactions per month, generating significant ROI for all of our customers, like banks, insurance companies, credit card companies, and other online enterprises. Let's see how it works under the hood. All right. Thank you so much, Francis. All right, Daniel, what are, what are you gonna show us? Okay, cool. So, we're gonna open up the hood and just show you a little of, uh, of the info, the behavioral data that we actually collect during sessions. So, you can all see, right, the iPad. So, we're using two sensors over here. Um, we're using the accelerometer and we're using the gyroscope. So this is basically showing you the orientation of the device, right? So when I fool around with it That's like this, gyroscope. Yep, okay. and the orientation, and the, the gyro, and the accelerometer. Can you so, tell that I always hold it too hard? Well, yeah, we're gonna show that in a second, right? So everyone holds the device differently, okay? So for instance, when I watch Game of Thrones on the sofa, then I hold it up like this, <laughs> and stuff like that, but I know other people like, you know, hold it this way and stuff. So the fluctuations over here, that's data that we're actually collecting, and we use that to profile the user. So another cool thing that we use to profile users and, and user behavior is, is, is swiping, right? So for instance, okay, you see that? We can actually collect the data and the way people actually swipe the device. So let's try something over here. So this is for companies to be able to determine if people who are using their website or trying to log in are the intended user or a fraudster. Right. right. Okay. So once we actually profile the user, and well, we, we, don't, we need five to ten sessions, right? So once we have five to ten sessions, we have a robust profile, behavioral profile that we can use. as It's, it's j almost just like a, a, a physical biometric. Okay, but the only thing is that it's behavior. We're basing it on behavior. Okay, so when I, my identity gets stolen, which it has, unfortunately, like mm -hmm. how many people's identity has been stolen? Millions. Eight, people. I yeah. think. Nine, eight. nine billion? How many, Francis? Nine, nine. Million? Nine. Yeah. Yeah, nine yeah. million. So then mm -hmm. someone tries to log on as me, you're gonna use these tools to catch right. Exactly, okay. So let's do a quick uh, demo over here. Uh, all right, so Audrey. Oh, hold the device. Okay. Okay. So it's a, it's a really simple task. What I, I, I'm going to ask you to do is to drag and drop the ball. Over here, the, the, the green ball, and drop it on the red ball. Okay. Right. Up the red ball. Oh, yeah, I know, no, you're right. Okay. Come on. You're right, you're right. You're I'm right. no gamer here. <laughs> Am I winning yet? No. <laughs> hey, where's my points? Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's see the analysis, huh? Audrey, have you been drinking this morning? Not yet! <laughs> Meet me in the shop, midnight. 
Okay, so what you see over here, the touch-up, that's actually when you, when you started swiping. That's, so you have a fairly steady hand over here, but when you actually drop the object over here, so we see fluctuations. So that's one thing that's interesting. So, okay, let's so look at the- this is my biometric profile. Exactly, this is the data that we collected during this session, okay? And during this, um, this task. So, take a look at that, that's interesting. Take a look at that hook, and take a look at this one over here. You see that hook at the bottom? Um, and take a look at this hook over here. Do you have any idea why you, you did that? Because I want to make sure I got it in there. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty good answer. I'll show you something in a second, but actually that's something that we call um, invisible challenges, and I'll show you a little about that in a second. So I just wanted to show you another profile, what another profile looks like, right? The, the exactly same um, uh, demonstration or, or task. So I'm gonna show you our chief architect's oh, profile. Oh, drinking way more yeah, than yeah. me. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So it's, it's it's totally different, right? Right? Absolutely. Okay. So. So why was I hooking at the end? Okay. Well, let's show you that. So we have something that, that I just mentioned. It's called the uh, uh, invisible challenges. So what we do is we actually introduce in, in certain sessions subtle cognitive challenges. Okay? It, you, you didn't feel any str anything strange over here, right? No. Right? It wasn't different. No Jedi mind tricks. Nothing like that. Okay, cool. So what we actually did is we put a three degree deviation over here. So when you were actually you know, dragging the, the green ball, then actually we were pulling it three degrees. And what you so did- it was moving and I it didn't was, know it? You didn't know it, okay. We have a hand-eye coordination. So what you did is you tried to compensate at the very end, right? So that's why you had those hooks over there. So we use things like that, that are subtle, that are cognitive. You don't feel, they don't cause any disturbance or any, any um, friction during the session, and we see how users respond and, their, and the way they interact with the device, and we use that for the profile itself. So now I understand that BioPatch has about 400 different biometrics that you can use to actually build a user profile. Well, on, in, in web applications, we have more than 500, oh my and when God. it comes to, to mobile devices, we have more than 2,000. Oh my God, yes. that's amazing. So we're not only good at computer science, we're actually good at detecting and understanding human behavior too. So that's the real trick. And just the final thing I wanna show you uh, over here, that was three degrees, that's why you didn't feel anything. Let's say it was 30 degrees, it would look something like this. Oh, wow. Right, you would definitely feel it. But when it's three degrees, it's very subtle, it's a cognitive challenge. That's amazing. So your customers or anyone that needs a username and password for protection to log into a website, so any customer that has that could use BioPatch, right? Exactly, exactly. Because we run in the background 100% seamless and frictionless, and the end user doesn't feel anything. But we're, they're acting naturally, and we're actually using that to profile them and to, and to build these really robust profiles. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you Thank so you. much, Francis. What a Thank you so much. All right, so we've gone from transportation technology to cybersecurity, and now we're gonna move into another area that Israel continues to excel at, which is the area of digital health.